Hey guys, my name is Ishita Virmani. I am working as a technical architect in data engineering Nokri Tech team. One of the critical challenges that we faced here was we process hundreds of TBs of data. There are a lot of hits that are coming to us. So all of this data is getting transferred onto Kafka and from Kafka, we are supposed to consume this data onto AWS S3, which is one of our persistent storage. So the earlier approach that we had, wherein we used to sequentially consume the data from multiple Kafka topics, and uh, once the entire data is being consumed from all of these topics, the pipeline used to finish. So now think of this as thousands of topics that you are consuming in sequence. Obviously, even if you group them, it will still take hours. And that's what used to happen here also. And every day when we used to come back, one or the other pipeline used to fail. Uh, most of our time, uh, you know, on daily basis, we used to spend it over rectifying the pipeline, trying to make sure that the data is available for people to query. Through this project, what we did was we actually started using Confluent Connectors. These Confluent Connectors, they used to consume the data from all these thousands of Kafka topics in parallel, we used to have groups of them. So while you are working here uh, at the back end, they're already being handled. The data is being consumed without any intervention from uh, any person. And at the end of the day, the only thing that we had to do was move this data from AWS S3, which has been already consumed by these confluent connectors, onto our persistent storage from where people can query it. Finally, people, once they used to come to office, the data was ready. They were able to query it instantly. As a result, Real-time use cases, real-time monitoring, everything was enabled because of this persistence pipeline, which we call it as an optimized persistence pipeline here in InfoEdge.